Hey there, welcome to day 2217 of What You Have to Know. Sharon Hornell from here, and today we are talking about a couple of different things in the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. We're talking about the relationship lifeline, and we will do this lifeline exercise every month this year. Maybe not every month, probably. Probably do it every month. It's that important. But last month, we just set up the framework for it. This month, we're doing it with respect to relationships. We're focusing on relationships as part of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, doing one thing every day to grow. And we're talking about, okay, what do these events, what impact did these events have on different relationships in our life? Obviously, when I got married, that had a positive effect on my relationships. When I got divorced, that had a negative effect on my overall relationship. But we want to look at different relationships, too. How about my family relationships, my kids? Didn't have kids. Well, I did. Yes, I did have kids when I got married. Anyway, so that's what we're talking about today. It's one of my favorite exercises because it helps us to see connections and uh, patterns in our behavior and lessons learned that we can learn and apply to different areas and different situations in our life. Uh, so we talked about that today, and, and that's our action item, is to plot out our relationships on the key events and milestones in our life. Just like you'd use a timeline, a history timeline, to map out events and what happened and to remember what happened then. We do the same thing in our life with different areas and aspects of the events that have happened in our life because history is fun to learn about right but there's nothing more important to learn from than our own life experiences so talking about that today if you need help with that of course always ask there's also write-ups and more information in both the let's grow annual challenge private facebook group page as well as the get up and go challenge private facebook page and they're just private so that we don't have a bunch of spam and scam and all kinds of other nonsense like we see on social media sometimes right for Supersize Your Business today, we are talking about the importance of data analytics and using them to find insights and make decisions for our business, right? Uh, I've worked for a lot of companies, and even in my company, when I first started one of my businesses early on, geez, back in the mid-1980s, we collected data and tracked all different crazy things, yet after spending hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of hours doing that, I realized we weren't using the information we were gathering for anything, right? We weren't using it to make decisions. We weren't using it uh, to compare, contrast, or improve our processes or our procedures. We were just collecting it and documenting it and then letting it languish in, in files, lots and lots of data and files, because that was... Uh, just as computers, you know, we were starting to use computers more for our businesses, but we weren't, um, nothing was automated. We didn't have apps that tracked and did everything and made us nice graphs and analyzed things. So uh, I developed early on in my career this belief that we should measure what really matters and is really going to move the needle when it comes to getting us the results that we want and moving us toward what we want. Uh, and learned that and was reinforced in corporate America and my corporate career. I spent over a quarter century in corporate America and we did the same thing. We, we reported on and did a lot of non-value added activities as managers and leadership groups. And uh, that just uh, lit a fire under me to find more efficient, more effective ways of doing absolutely everything. And one of those is measuring things, what we measure, what we look at, the key performance indicators, because everything isn't going to give us the quick snapshot that we need to make better decisions and to help our business to grow faster. So we've talked about that today for Super Size Your Business. Uh, that's it. If I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, I am on the road for a little while. And when I'm home, that's that's I'm home. But for right now, I've cleared my schedule for some personal reasons. And I am available if you ask. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, see you tomorrow.